Hello everybody, my name is John and welcome back to Gods Will Be Watching. In this episode we're going to be tackling the second stage, that is the infamous torture stage. So uh, this is Sergeant Burgeon communicating from within Xenolifer's Matriarch Battleship. Yeah, I'm not going to read all this. Basically the gist of it is that uh, after that last thing in which, uh, I don't remember their names, I think it was... It's been like Abraham and Jack were detained. We were captured by this other faction, and all of a sudden, shower time, and now we're gonna be tortured. And our goal as these guys is to, I guess, hold on for as long as we can with uh, trying not to confess. We get a bunch of options, I'll show you in a minute. So these guys are kinda dicks. This is a uh, good cop, that's bad cop. Now you can. They don't fit the stereotypes perfectly because this guy's kind of like a psychopath and that guy's more of like a just dumb guy. You've seen the combination before, maybe in like Fargo if you've ever seen Fargo. I don't know. He's Alexander. He doesn't speak much, but he's a good fella. That is, unless you piss him off. But that ain't gonna happen, am I right? Yeah, see, so very kind of cliche. So, basically... First question, who are you? Now we can answer this with either Burden or Jack. So we have options here like provoke, beg, think, lie, or confess. Now all of these will give a di will give us a different reaction out of these guys. Now I know that I'm probably not gonna succeed with this because it's a very hard level. A lot of people fail on this and I've never personally been able to complete this. So I'm going to do this until I can, and if I have to, I'll cut out some stuff if it gets really boring. But I'm going to try to show you all the different options we have here. So this is Provoke. Good question. I would wonder why he's wearing sunglasses in a basement. I mean, uh, of course, he's too cool to not be wearing sunglasses in a basement. Let's go to our friend Jack here. He can provoke the big guy. Now, they're both still kind of standing upright. If we provoke him a little more. See, he punches us, and every time that he punches us, we get a little bit weaker. Basically, the goal is to hold out until they're done. So I'm trying to alternate provoking here. And if we do this enough, maybe, just maybe, they'll go away. So I'm going to show you beg. He's like, please, I don't think I can resist much longer. Now when that happens, he hits both of us, or they hit both of us, I should say. Now when you think, it just kind of, you get hit again, alright? So I'm thinking that the best option is usually provoke. Now what you can see is that the lie option right here goes up, I think every time that we get hit, or every time that we take a turn with provoke or, or beg. Now confess, I think is the last resort option. If you're down there and you're in pain, and you're doing terrible. See, they already want to stop, they'll miss the Holistic Baseball League, now they'll have to be excused, and our first session is over. So it gets harder every day, they break out bigger guns, I don't know if they actually do break- yeah, they do break out guns. It's kind of infamous for that, the Russian Roulette is a part of this. And uh, I think the next thing that they're going to do is actually pull out like a screwdriver, or not a screwdriver, like pliers, and try to pull out our teeth. Yeah, it's terrible. So, back to the next day. He had the weirdest stream last night, everything was black and white, everything but the orange light of his cigarette. Oh, and he wasn't blonde. That's kind of lame. I was wearing a heavy metal t-shirt and had long hair. I lived in a world made of concrete and got to see people with black bags over their head every day. The best part is that Alexander didn't exist. <laughs> no offense. Oh, that poor guy. He never says anything. I don't know what provoked him to say that. I think he has a hammer in his hand. That is not good. Okay, I'm gonna stop reading all this now. Okay, so he still doesn't even know our name. That's pretty good. Now if we keep provoking him, he's gonna hit us with that hammer. So, uh, the best thing to do... Well, there's a chance that we could get lucky with a beg later. If we get very down low in, I guess, health? Or, or tolerance? Something like that? Let's, let's try to pro 
No, not think, damn it. Okay, well now he's gonna hit both of us. Oh yeah, this is when he kind of hits our legs with the hammer. Let's get Jack here to provoke him. And get Alexander to hurt him a little more. Chances are we're probably just gonna barely hang on here. We got a 68% uh, chance of our lie actually working, so let's go ahead and try that. Uh, I, oh, he laughed at us. He thought, oh, damn it. Our lie did not work. That's really, really not good. Okay, our lie is a 61% chance here. This guy is about to, like, die. So, <laughs> I think it's best if we just provoke one more time with him. You know, if you're torturing somebody and you're saying, Come on, hit me! Then isn't it kind of giving them what they want? I don't know. Just, just a thought. Now, uh, if we confessed our names, I would probably get us out of this jam. But I'm a little, little worried about that. Maybe we could beg? Maybe? I'm a little worried that I'm gonna fail. Okay, yeah. He gave us a little bit of leeway there. Jack can provoke him. And probably again after that, too. End of the day! Congratulations, you survived another day. Perfect. Now, this gets worse every day, as you can imagine. And I'm not sure if it saves at the end of every day. But we have to survive a lot of this. And if you see how bad I'm doing now, it only gets worse. I promise, I promise that I'm gonna fail. So, we'll see. Now who's this? Our wonderful savior, Liam. Liam Christ. He came and he... He... Well, okay. You think he's gonna break you out, but he actually doesn't. He says that, uh... And we cannot make it together with him. He doesn't even know if he can make it back alone. So uh, he wants him to take a seat. What's the plan? I know you have one, Liam. So, uh, little witty text right there. They're preparing a rescue operation. It's not easy, but nothing withstands a clever plan. Right, well, what do you need us to do? I need you to endure 20 more days of torture. Yep, that's what we have to do. Savior of the world here. I think the point of this is that it's supposed to be morally gray because, I mean, telling your own people to endure 20 more days of torture, that's a little, uh, little in the gray area of morality, but I guess that depends on your political views. Yeah, that was a pretty reasonable reaction. Clever plans usually aren't the quickest. Yeah, they also usually don't involve enduring torture. So, uh, he located a nursery, and he can sneak in medication. Medicine can restore our health so that we endure longer. This is stuff that he gives us. I don't know if it's at the end of every day, or if it's just, like, end of every certain amount of days. I'm not sure. Painkillers allow you to resist more pain, so that bastard's torture methods won't be as effective, but you won't recover as fast as usual from your injuries. Or, if you prefer, I can gather information to help you deal with your torturers. It's easier to lie if you know what your captor's interested in. Um, okay, so what I believe is that painkillers will allow us to take more hits, but we recover more slowly. Healing kit will allow us to just, uh, I guess, I don't know, heal up faster? And information, I think, just gives us a higher chance of lying. At least that's what it was suggested. So I think we should probably do painkillers. No, I'm doing this with the assumption that we recover every day. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, look at that. He's washing his hands. It's not good. Did you know that Alexander loves hamsters? Really? I would not get that from that guy. And who wears a bike helmet inside with no shirt? I mean, come on. A little weird. I, I don't know what this is even talking about. These guys seem to have kind of an odd relationship. They're kind of... I don't think they're happy about working together. But maybe they've got kind of a friendship under there. So of course, he still doesn't even know who we are. If we provoke him, then he will pull our teeth out. And see, we're already down there, already in pain. Now we're gonna get... I don't even know how, mu how it increases our chance of lying. I'm sorry if I'm like, stuttering, by the way. Not stuttering, but maybe I'm at kind of a, a loss for words. 
at certain points just because this game takes a lot of thinking. I have to focus on the game and it takes a little bit of the focus out of my commentary, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's try to provoke him again. Oof, he just pulled it out with his bare hands, I'm fairly sure, and sorry about that text. I think you just heard that. Okay, we only have a 61% chance of lying here, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. Oh yeah, yeah, he, uh, he actually believed me. Okay, so whenever you lie, you go back down to like 10%. So, uh, as far as I know, thinking doesn't actually do anything. Maybe if you use it later, but... Hmm. Let's provoke him a little bit. And then after that, let's try to beg with him, because, you know, he looks a little in pain here. I, I don't want to risk too much, but... Oh, shit. Okay, uh... What he could do is try to provoke, maybe. And then try to beg after that. And why is that supposed to be a bad thing? Why is he like, how many hours did you spend at the gym, you, you, uh, attractive fit man? Huh. <laughs> Showed him. Oh, Jesus. Let's try to beg. I don't think he takes kindly to begs, though. Begging. All right, good, so we recovered a little bit. He forgot about the ice cream, goodbye. We survived another day, thank God. Okay, perfect. Now what are we gonna have to endure next? You're afraid of the wall. <laughs> Is that some kind of metaphor, man? No, man, the fucking wall with the chains in front of me, you dumbass. It's hard spending all night looking at that and imagining myself hanging on it. I'm more afraid of the ax. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to just close your eyes in here. Hey, look who's back, Liam. He found a library. Something to read. <laughs> I, he is my favorite. Okay. Um, out of all of these, I think painkillers were pretty useful, but ultimately... Healing kit was nice. However, I don't know if that's just uh, healing like over over time, or whether it it determines how much we heal when we beg and stuff. Because you remember we just begged a little while ago, and that healed us up. I'm wondering if that's what it means. So uh, we're gonna just try the healing kit. Try it. It might not work. Oh. Oh, apparently we didn't even have the painkillers. He was giving it to us today. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay, um, I know eventually this escalates into Russian roulette, so we don't really need painkillers at that point. Or I don't even know if we have the option of painkillers for that point. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, he's trying to pretend to be friendly. Alright, let's just skip away, skip ahead of some stuff here. Oh boy, he's breaking out the lead pipe. Actually, that's a crowbar, not a lead pipe. What? He's setting it on fire? Oh Jesus. This is like the third day and he's already setting a crowbar on fire. Alright, Jack. Go ahead and provoke him. That glove? What? I don't even know what he's doing. What's he doing? Uh, kind of like a burning glove, I guess? I don't know, some sort of space age stuff? I think these painkillers are really working here, because he barely took anything from that. I didn't even notice. Alright, alright, let's keep provoking. Ooh! Worst place to get hit, man. Okay, I'm just gonna think and see what it does. I think thinking is what gives you a higher chance uh, for lying. Yeah, see, every time you think, you get a higher chance to lie. Let's, uh, I guess we could think again, but that's kind of like charging the hack boost in the last level. I think it's really risky, and you can only do it when you're really sure. I think if Jack over here provokes again and then maybe begs, jeez, it's like, Hitting him with like 
hot oven mitts on the face, although probably a little worse. Alright, let's beg, maybe? Okay, yeah, there we go. Jeez, even after begging, that guy's still down there. I don't think, uh, we can afford to think right now. Let's just provoke and see if we can wait this out a little more. Because this guy can still take a little. Perfect, they're meeting hot trainees. I don't think these guys can get anybody. They're a little too scary for that. Oh god, day what, four? We survived, once again. Let's see how useful that health kit is. See, you're raising pretty good questions here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Again, skipping story, because I don't think you want to be spoiled, and I don't really want to have to read it all out for you, because there's a lot, and this is kind of a story-heavy game, and I'm not really interested in playing through the story on camera. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so I guess it is a little more than staying at the gym, then. I guess, uh, I wish we could try out both and then know which one was better, but uh, let's go ahead and go for pain colors again, just because that was working very well last time. So apparently we have the potions from Pokemon in this future world. What method of torture are we using today? Hammer! Oh, we're used to that. That's no big deal. Oh... a little hard. If we think a little, then we get some charge for our lies. And he's gonna get stretched out a little bit, which is frankly quite terrible. And maybe like the worst method of torture you could possibly do to some- well, okay. Waterboarding's pretty bad too. Let's go ahead and lie, because we got 70% chance. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. Well, let's see. We, uh... We can stand to think again, and... Oh, shit! Yeah, they gave no indication of that happening. I'm not gonna say bad design, but... Uh... Not sterling design. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I would I would really like to go ahead and end this because I think that we're gonna have to live with this and keep Going through this torture. I wonder if that was inevitable if that was something that was Kind of scripted actually gonna happen Is he imagining Jax here? I don't understand what uh, Well, he disappeared now Yeah, he's gone you should be sorry. We're, we're making us endure torture for 20 days, and now I don't even have a second person to deal with this. I guess I really need some painkillers. Painkillers would have been useful in the last one. I probably should be caring more about the fact that Jack just died. You know, by being ripped in half. But, uh... But let's just try one more torture session and then go ahead and continue this next episode because this is maybe like 15 minutes. And this is already getting pretty difficult for me. Oh shit. Here we go. Russian roulette. Now I'm pretty sure that it's hard to get out of this without confessing at least once. I know that we have six confessions that we can use. Old fellows from Earth had a game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means. Must be the guy who invented it. Vladimir Putin invented it, actually. 
Doesn't matter what does matter is what happens when I slide one bullet inside this barrel, point this baby at your face, and ask you a question. If I like what you're saying, I won't pull the trigger. Now, if we're in the future, this far in the future, to where you don't even remember what Russia is, I would really hope that we'd have cooler weaponry than Russian roulette. Unless that's maybe just, uh, just the purpose of this torture session to be using primitive weapons. For one out of seven chances of boom, why does your organization need our intel? Well... Okay, we got a one-seventh chance to go ahead and think here. I think he's gonna point the barrel at our face. Ooh, did not win. One out of six chances of boom. You won't steal a car, you won't kill a baby. Piracy is a crime, confess your plans. Oh, okay. So, uh, you wouldn't download a car is basically the point here. If we think one more time and risk the one-sixth chance, we can lie and get away with it, I think. So let's go ahead and try. Again, one-sixth chance that we're gonna die here. Did not die. One out of five chances of boom. So what would some lousy rebels like you do with our precious data? We would... Uh, fund our cause by selling classified information. For one out of five chances of boom, how would you manage to enter our space lab? Well, you see, we, uh... We, uh... I really don't want to do this. Oh god, I think we just have to withstand like a couple more rounds of this, basically. We can try thinking, but this is very, very risky. Ultimately a game of chance. There we go. Oh yeah, 1-7. Here we go. Perfect. We're getting a little more time to think here, unless the 1-7 chance actually works against us. He's had enough. Alright, Russian roulette's over. And uh, we're going to end this episode right when this dick stops talking. So um, I will see you guys later. I hope you have a good time. Next video should be up tomorrow of this. Uh, along with some other things, hopefully. Maybe Nuclear Throne, maybe Rogue Legacy. Not Dark Souls, because I'm not going to record that tomorrow. Uh, whatever I feel like recording, I apologize if I sounded tired. That's because I am tired. I just really want to record this. I wanted to get it out and on YouTube because a couple reasons. Number one, this game is really buzzing right now. I got 40 views on that last video, and that is astounding for my channel. That's like more than I've ever gotten, so that's amazing. And, uh, number two, I actually really enjoy this game, and I really want to get through it. Um, on camera or off, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you next time.